Hi everyone, now let's continue with our Pac-Man game. So today we will create those little ghosts. There are four of them. So the master's job is to create them one by one. First, let's make them 80% of the current size. And we also hide them until all the dots get created. So let's start with the first ghost blinky. Blinky's position is outside the cage. Don't forget to show the clone. Next, we will create the other three ghosts. They are inside the cage, inside the box. Let's do them one by one. The first one is the pinky. Its position is negative 20 and 5. Sing, since there are three of them, we will use this repeat three times. Every time we just switch to next costume. We create a clone of myself. Then we will s move to the right side by 20 pixels. Next, we will move those three clones inside the box to outside the box. So when I start as a clone, each of them will take turns to get out of the box one by one. If I'm the second ghost, which is the pinky, I will take one second to glide out of the box If I'm the third clone, which is the inky, I will take a three seconds to glide out of the box. And if I'm the last one collide, I will take a five seconds to glide out of the box. Once they are all out of the box, they are ready to move around the maze. They will keep on moving, repeat until they touch the wall. Uh, they, since they are not allowed to 
uh, move back into the box, they will be stopped by this gate also. So there are two colors can stop them moving forward. The first color is the boundary of the wall, which is the, this lighter blue. The second color is the gate, pink color. If they don't touch either color, they will just keep on move three steps. But if they do touch one of the colors, they will back off. Back off three steps and turn around. They can turn either 90 degree or 180 degree or 270 degree. So we will use turn right ninety degree times pick a random one two three and make sure this happens only if game is on Let's put a comment for this pink color because it's not that obvious what this color is come from. Now let's add those uh, four power dots. Among all these dots, there are four power dots. They have special functions. Um, for appearance, they are bigger and they are blinking. So go to dot sprite. Let's start a new script. When I start as a clone, I know my position, my X position, my Y position already. If My X position is negative 138. My Y position is 133. I am a power dot, which is this dot. I will make myself a much bigger size. Set a size to 200. This is the first power dot. Second power dot, we gave it uh, X position negative 138, Y position is negative 187, which is this dot. Then let's duplicate these two. There are two more dots. Let's just change the X position to 137 
for both of them and you don't need to change the Y position because they are on the other side which is here this one and this one so these four dots will be much bigger and they are also blinking so if I am the power dot which means my size is 200 go to looks all the way down there's a size if my size is 200 I also make myself blink Next, if the uh, the Pac-Man eat a regular dot, uh, we give ten points. If it eats a power dot, we give fifty points. So in your dot sprite, whenever the dot is touched by the Pac-Man, and before it delete itself, we will give points. So first we need a variable called the score. Make it for all sprites. Then find this script right before you delete this clone. Let's check if I am the power dot or not. If my size is 200, I am a power dot. Then I change my change the score by 50. Otherwise, I am just a regular dot. I change score by 10. Put this right before you delete this clone. And don't forget, you should always change, uh, set score to zero at the beginning of your game. We can do this at stage. test your score and that's it for today see you next time thank you for watching bye